Pokemon Actual Skill Modeling. This is part four of Tamiya's US Aircraft Carrier Enterprise. Scale is one to three fifty. In this part, I'm going to be concentrating on the spin zones and building the other components that go into the hull. So that will be the elevators, the struts and everything that holds all that uh, together. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. To begin with, I'm placing on the sponsons in their relative um, locations. Th there's a few to go on, as you can see there, there's a few on the bench meant to go in. Each has their own location point, obviously, and they're, they're quite easy to place on. And it's the same with the elevators as well, which um, I'm just placing in now. These are the little platform elevators. They just sit inside this uh, recess part. They go, they go in um, almost like an angle, but they actually uh, lay flat once the uh, hull is actually sitting properly. I know the larger spoon sons, uh, again, like the um, elevators, it may appear they go on a slight angle from this uh, view on the camera, but they actually go on quite straight. The, there is a uh, small location points for these, as I've said, um, and it's relatively easy to get everything lined up. You, you may have to poke and prod a little bit just in, until you're um, happy with it, or it may have just been me not getting it right the first time around. I'm attaching more steps to the hull. And uh, like the other ones, you have the option for these to go vertical or horizontal. Depending on uh, what angle you put them in, will uh, dictate which uh, part has to be trimmed. Because each one has a location tag on it uh, to place in if you want it to go um, straight or point downwards. Time to do the sub-assembly of the starboard spoon zones. And uh, like the other ones done, the, the thinner ones that you've seen, the, these are the uh, ladders and brackets um, uh, as well. Be careful of the angle that you put these uh, ladders or steps on. Um, the instructions say put them in now, and it gives you an illustration in the picture um, what angle they really should be at. But it's, because it's a 2D view, it's quite difficult to ascertain exactly what angle there is. Now, I, I experimented with them to see whether I could uh, fit the sponsor and then the supports and um, ladders, and you can. It just, it's a little bit more fiddlier work, um, but I suggest doing it that way instead of just fitting them on the spoon song, first of all. Here, I'm making up uh, the um, running edge of the fly deck. Um, these are just little plates that are going on as well as some little steps. This is slightly off camera I'm afraid, I don't know whether you can make it out. Um, it was just the angle I was trying to build this at as well as get it on camera. But it's the uh, one of the support boards going in. Yeah, we just tip it down there, you can you, you can see it in situ. And it just sits on, on a, a bar um, without any fuss. Um, it's just an awkward angle to show you. So here's the um, the skirts or side row things that uh, are going in. Um, as I said before, the, these are done in, in multiple units instead of one big long one. Now you don't really have to clamp these up, but I, I clamped them up for, for peace of mind, but they, they fit really well. And a clamp is not really necessary, but as I said, peace of mind. I'll be doing one side, then waiting until that dries before going on to the other side, because I'll be flipping the the hull over uh, and putting a bit of pressure on the that edge. I want to make sure they're completely dry so they can take a bit of pressure and won't snap off. And then once they're all on, uh, just the end what sponsor went on there again with uh, holding with a bit of clamps. And now what I'm doing is just uh, maneuvering the support struts uh, into place. It's a tiny bit more awkward doing it this way, but there's a location point on the hull and on the sponsor as well. So um, it does line up quite well. And we have uh, more sponsors uh, to build. There's quite a few of these and they're all very similar. So I'll, I'll skip most of them um, on the video because they're all built practically the same way. The only difference is, is the positioning of some of the plates. And that's the little thing I'm placing on here. Next is the support board. 
And um, all, all I need to do to that is put in the next um, hoist uh, bracket in. And as you can see, that uh, just simply sits in there. It's a good idea. Again, wait until it dries before you try and place it in. Um, you want to get this as straight as possible as well, so it sits properly within the ship. A bit of prep work before I carry on. So I'm just cleaning up the ends and taking off any excess uh, bits of plastic before uh, assembling these. Uh, these are all the supports and little steps needed for, for the side of the hull and the spin sinks. So making up the remainder, remainder of the um, spin sinks and elevator parts. And here I, I, again I'm just um, prepping them all, putting on the, the struts this time around um, before going on. Now some of these I will take off because I, I couldn't fit um, while they were on there. So I just popped them off and refitted them the way that I normally do. The steps however will uh, go in place straight away and uh, they'll stay there. Look for the location points on these. They are not um, exactly clear. Um, they're, they're very small in fact so just uh, watch out for them. The part I'm placing on here now is the um, actual underside for the top. With that grid marking, I didn't have to paint that. This is why I haven't shown you me paint, painting it. Because um, that actually gets attached to the um, ship itself and you don't see it at all. Um, the bracket I'm just placing in there, I've just put it in as a holder. Um, that will be coming off because it doesn't actually sit into that position. But this uh, straw or bracket um, is slightly longer than the rest. So I'm putting it there now. So one, I don't lose it, and two, I don't mix it up with the other ones. And as you can see there, I'm just attaching the bolt. It's better to do this at this stage uh, with this one than waiting until you have everything in place. So now I can finally start attaching all the remaining spoons on to the hull. Um, same with the makeup of these. Uh, they all go also in different uh, locations. And obviously it's important enough to get these locations mixed up. Um, because I do, do a lot of this sub-assembly before I place them on, I actually put them on my bench in order that I'm doing them. So from left to right, I know this one is going to go on this uh, a particular area and so on and just work, work my way down. Uh, of course, you can build one, place it on, go away, build one and, and place another one on. It depends how you like doing things. Um, and what works best for you. This works best for me. Whether it's um, to everyone's idea how it should be done, I don't know. But um, we all, when building these things, we always find our own way uh, uh, doing it. I should point out though, the fit of these is very good and some places are actually really tight, um, especially where the um, elevator um, mechanism uh, parts are. Um, I had to squeeze them in quite um, firmly just to get them to fit. There was they were millimeter perfect to line up with, but because they are a, a tight fit, lining these up is quite important. So make sure you get everything lined up to the hard edge of the hull and it sits flush before you move on to the next one. Or you can run into problems as you start putting them in, and uh, the problem would just get um, worse as you go along. And then there would be gap in issues. Um, I only found this out through dry dry fitting and um, you really should dry fit these parts uh, before jumping into them. So this is uh, one of the main ones going in. Um, again, I didn't have much trouble uh, fitting this. It was a little bit awkward just to line that up because um, for a big piece of the, the actual contact points are not huge. So it's got a tendency uh, just to bend out of position. Well, not bend, just flip out of, of position. So you want to put this on very square, uh, squarely and try and hold it or clamp it until it sets. So as I said, I'll carry on, on fitting these. Um, there's not much difference to any, any of them, if any difference at all, apart from maybe the shape, of course. And um, this is where I'll end part four as, uh, as well. Because once I put this one in, it's only just some uh, steps and that I've got to place in. This is the, uh, L, well, the, the roof of the spoons on that's um, got the grid markings and those grid markings are banded up right up to the um, point where my um, fingers are so you really don't see it. I don't know why it's on the grid 
a good part. It's probably to save money or something. Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, have a tunnel over there. You can see where, where the support boat is and our office. And so if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? If you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you'll get up to date not only with this build, but all my other builds, of course. Hit the like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. And I'll be getting some really uh, nice comments about this uh, build and some great suggestions. So I'll keep at it. And of course, you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.